Hi, I'm Larry Simpson, and I want to speak with you for a few minutes regarding staying the course in times of crisis, or perhaps thought of another way of self-leadership in times of crisis. Have you ever been thrown off course or dealt with frustrating cir circumstances? Well, of course you have. The question is, when derailed, how did you get back on course? Where do you turn in times of crisis or disappointment uh, or even failure? What spiritual foundations uh, is in your life, uh, is your life built on so that when you encounter uh, difficult circumstances or challenges, you don't crumble, you don't quit? Well, to help make my point regarding foundations, uh, consider uh, this analogy of celestial navigation. Uh, navigators, uh, aviators and ocean mariners are skilled at celestial navigation. Uh, celestial navigation is used uh, to help um, aviators and ocean mariners get back on course when they have found their way. It's a means of using the stars, the sun, and other celestial bodies uh, to locate current position and get moving in the right direction. It's foundational uh, to the navigator who would never be lost. It's like that with uh, foundations for Christian living. Faith in Jesus Christ is our foundation. So uh, God has placed celestial bodies as a constant and available and an available source for direction. He himself is constant and available as our source, as our foundation. Is Christ your foundation for direction uh, when faced with challenges or crisis? In his song, Remind Me Who I Am, Jason Gray assures the reader, the listener, of the certainty of God's presence, that we are his beloved. Even at our lowest low, we have true worth and meaning, and he is our very present help. In a favorite hymn of mine, How Firm a Foundation, that great hymn closes out with this line. Um, that so, though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. Take, take refuge in Jesus. Trust him to help you navigate your course. Christ is the sure foundation on whom we can certainly rely for wisdom and direction. With Christ as the foundation, uh, I'm going to close out my, my talk here by offering two practices that will serve you well in any circumstance. Uh, whether as an entrepreneur who's doing well or encounters a bump, or as a Christian leader striving to live out your faith. The first is practice spiritual disciplines. Spiritual disciplines for me uh, is, is foundational. In, in fact, when my spiritual disciplines are off, everything is off. Insight, wisdom, it all goes. A spiritual discipline, a basic definition of it is this. It's a deliberate and intentional act of growing in relationship to God, in developing a healthy relationship with Him, in growing in intimacy with Him. Spiritual disciplines are a means to an end. The results in closeness to God. Now, a few important spiritual disciplines for me include prayer, studying His Word, giving, confession, worship, and solitude. A second foundation uh, that I refer to as uh, the RCI practice, or the practice of RCI, remember, consider, imitate. That concept comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7, and it reads like this. Remember, your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life 
and imitate their faith. The RCI way is to hitch your life to someone as a mentee, as an accountability or prayer partner. RCI can take many forms and can be done in many ways. Uh, at the least, you should uh, have a couple of trusted mentors in your life. And these are people who you have observed uh, and you have considered the outcome of their way of life, the results of it have been positive, and that their faith would be uh, something that you deem as appropriate for you to imitate that way. Uh, the RCI way. Remember, consider, imitate. These two practices are rooted in faith in Christ, our firm foundation. When the going gets tough, uh, be reminded uh, you are His beloved. On Him you can rely. Thank you.